Hello everyone, I'm Zishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive YouTube channel, your own training institute. So we will start with our next lesson and here we will add some dust effect on our locker room over here, this locker uh, box over here. So the effect should be in the end. So I will remove all, uh, I will move all these things back here. Okay. And then I will press space bar here and dust. And as you can see, I have the dust here and dust needs ambient occlusion. It needs a uh, world space normal and it needs mask, but as optional. So what I will do here is that I will apply the dust on everything here. So I have to go to my final ambient occlusion and I can take this one. Okay. Move it up here and then find the ambient spot here where I can go thing here alt and here alt down and I'm gonna occlusion okay so you can see I'm getting some stuff out of it now normal I need I will take this Alt, Alt, and then go down and put it inside. So I'm getting this sort of a dust effect here. So now what I need is a blend node. Okay, and I will add this blend node, this uh, mask inside the blend option here down in the opacity. Okay, and I will create a gradient map, put it here on the top. Okay, and you can see, so start getting some uh, effect here. Now I need something that looks like a dust, like a roughness map here. So what I will do here now is that I will go to these uh, options here and see where are my noises. Here are the noises. And I will use the large thumbnail so I can see what's which looks more like a um, dust. So this kind of looks like a dust. So I will use this. I'll put, it, I'll put this one there. What else? This looks good, but it is uh, it does not have any sort of a dust effect on the top of it. It's like gradient sort of thing. Now let's see more more of it. I think. This cloud three, then this black and white spot, and let's see some more here. What else we can do? And I'll try this moisture noise as well. So these I have brought here just to see which looks much more better. So we will try that at, at uh, time by time. So I will take this one, plug it here, side, and you can see I have start getting some effect here. Now in the dust uh, mode, I can go here and double put it here. I can increase the level of the dust. I can add some noise. Or you can add a mask here so for the noise basically. And occlusion amount, you can increase it. Increase, so I will a little bit increase it. Contrast, not too high, a little bit less. So it looks more soft. Okay, now what I need is a uh, like a color here. So I will bring up my uh, references here. So I have this dust uh, like sand, and I have this. I will go to my gradient map, and let's see which kind of looks like uh, the better one. So I will pick the gradient. Let's try this first. Okay. Let's double click it here so we can see. 
kind of looks good. Let's try a little bit more other variations here. So this is sort of an effect I'm getting. This let's use a lighter color. This looks good. Okay. So this is this is good. What else I can do is let's let's try this one. Or let's try this. This is more flatter. Maybe I will get more better results with this. Yeah, this looks much more better. So I'll put this aside, close this one. Uh, let's make it smoother. Okay. So we can have some smooth sand effect here. So you can see that it looks very dusty. Sand is all over the place. So that kind of effect you can get it. If you want to increase, you can go back here and increase the level. Yeah, uh, but that's a lot. So this kind of looks good and let's try now different options here like if I will go how the clouds will look like it will look like this okay. let's try the black and white spot this one it will look like this and then if I will go and apply the moisture noise, kind of look like so far. I think let's see the clouds again, okay. and this. I think I'll stick to this practice some days. And it'll look better. And it will. Okay. Now, wherever there is a uh, sand, I don't want any metallic, uh, like metalness. So I'll go here, blend, take my this mask, apply in the opacity, and then uniform color. And grayscale and no metalness, all black. Okay. And apart from that, I don't want it uh, it to be like I want this uh, dust to be very rough because you know it's dust it should be rough. So I'll go back here. Okay, take the same uh, mask from here, apply it here. There now, I will use uniform color, grayscale, and something like this. Not not a hundred percent white, but kind of like a zero point eight nine. So now it kind of looks like there is a sand going on. So now everything is connected to this. If you want to reduce the level, reduce it. Have the metalness coming back, stuff coming back there. And there is one issue going on here now is with this part. Okay, and that is because of this opacity which we created last. Okay. What we need to do is that let's have a look here. Yeah. Okay, so we have to work on this. If I go back here, where is the hinges gap here?
Okay, so I will take this from here. Alt, put down. And Alt here. So basically, where is this? So I will create a blend here. Oops, deselect everything first. Blend here. And then I will take this one. Put it here. This one I will put here. What is this? This is basically the outline. This outline. Okay. And I will take this, the hinges which I got it from back put it on the top okay so what is this basically these are the hinges okay so i will sub i will subtract these hinges from this background so i will go and subtract so i will have no hinge here so this is what will use inside the opacity so now you can see there is no issue of the opacity So here what I'm going to do the level I think for the sand is too high you can see it is applying it's, it's like partially applying everywhere so maybe I will make it point three point three is too low so maybe point four Point four is fine. So this is uh, how you can get your uh, like roughness around your uh, items, like and sorry, dust around your object. If you don't want, you can, like you can you can ignore it. If you want, just you can add it. So it will give you like an old sort of a feeling. So I can add a frame. Uh, dust. Plus metal or uh, alb like plus albedo. Metal dust and plus roughness. So this is what we will get from here. Okay. So I hope you have learned something from this video. And thanks a lot everyone for uh joining this lesson i'm really thankful to you all for supporting me and i hope to receive your support continuously and uh, one thing is that i have noticed that many of you are watching my videos but you have not subscribed to my channel yet so please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications about the great new contents uh, i will be uploading soon so if you have liked my video so please hit the like button and if you have any queries or questions then leave them in the comment section below and i'll try my best to answer them as soon as possible and one request is that i have noticed that many of you uh like not many like uh, some of the viewers do not watch my videos online uh and instead they download them so please if anyone is doing that and you find someone doing that please uh stop them because this will never help me to get my hardware paid off and it will demotivate me so i don't want to stop making tutorials for you all therefore help me to get new subscriber i will take off now and take care guys till we meet in the next class stay safe stay healthy and keep learning on z interactive your own training institute there's one important announcement i would like to make I have started three great membership plans on my channel. I have introduced ZDI Friends membership plan, which will give you exciting perks like loyalty badges and priority on comments. I have also introduced ZDI Early Bird plan, which will give access to Z Interactive tutorials way early before they become public. So you will get all these lessons at once and you can binge watch. Them. Last but not the least, I have introduced ZDI Premium plan, which will give access to advanced professional tutorials which you will find it very, very expensive outside. And I will be giving this at a very low amount of price. So visit my channel now and click on the join membership to get more information. I hope you become one of my members.
if you want to learn how to create a highly detailed prop procedurally using Substance Designer, so this premium tutorial series is for you. Join my premium membership plan on YouTube and get access to all premium tutorials. In this tutorial series, I will demonstrate how to use Substance Designer along with simple geometry to create a realistic smashed up retro television.